Hello, ladies. Welcome back to Melody Made. Uh, create with craft with us with Deb Farrell. We are still on our sixth week working on steampunk, and we are still finding inspiration and fun things to create. So it just goes to show you that it's not uh, a speedy process. If you really want to get in there and and do all the little bits and and uh, odds and ends, you got to take your time and uh, let yourself get inspired. But uh, Deb is going to tell you now what she's working on. Oh, she always does that, doesn't she? Because she, do, huh? she gets tired of talking or doesn't know what else to say. And she says, oh, Deb's going to take over now. <laughs> <laughs> no, today I'm probably just going to be working on um, tags and embellishments. I already have a pile that I've done. And um, I will show you the progress on my um, other, my second journal. We got the gentleman. This is a piece of, um, it's actually a piece of a beer can because wow. we don't drink soda and I had to outsource a beer can. So that's what it is. And I put it wow. through, yeah, I put it through. You hold the, it up uh, to the camera a little closer. There you go. Closer here, there. Oh, perfect. It, yeah. I put it up through the um, cricket with that deep, that 3D gear. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm going to have to try And that. then I painted it with, um, let me show you what I painted it with. I got this big pack, big bag of stuff that I need to put away. So I just throw it all in together. Okay. I painted it with pinata. Is that what it's called? No, 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 no. That's not what it's called. With the Ranger patina paints. Now, mm -hmm. this isn't the only color. There oh, wow. Go. Or uh, I use several colors, but that's who it's by. And this is like a a paint that you can use on metals, and it sort of gives it uh, different patinas. So just I just used it on the background, is all. And everything that's on here is put on with um, what do you call these things? Brad. Uh, Brad's, yeah. Yeah, and I punched the holes with my uh, prep dial, and um, this is just an old uh, stencil, old metal stencil piece, and then some of these are wired on, like like this right here. That's hard to wow, focus. that is a oh, piece here, of art within itself. We have Kim and it's for the kitchen of it, which is Erna joining us. See, I didn't turn my comments on again. I yeah, you got to turn those on. I forget every time. It's I okay. So anyway, this is that's all this is. These are just metal pieces, gears, and little charms and stuff like that that I've attached to this back piece with brads and wire. And then I made holes all the way around the edge, and I've already put the brads in there. And this will go on the front of his journal oh it is wow you'll yes. have to so let us know how you attach it i haven't made the the cover yet so that's why right. it's just not on anything yet and um so that I, I showed you i wanted to show you that so that'll be coming up and then i was playing around you know i keep talking about wanting to do metallic bugs yeah but i don't think it's gonna happen <laughs> oh okay so i've tried a couple of things and and i mean i'm gonna use these ones that i did last week um in the books but right what the, the thing that i actually had in my mind the picture i had in my mind i don't think i'm going to be able to do it uh very easily so i've kind well, of i've kind of given up on that but what i did do um i did you know i did my little bugs last week mm -hmm. these, little, these little bugs with the metallic paints with the metallic watercolors Let's see if I can get that. Sorry, the glare is bad, but it's what it is. So I made the little bugs, and then I had these little moths, and I thought, well, I have the um, I don't know what to call these. I guess they're some kind of. I guess you call them labels. They're just old, the big ones. So I oh yeah, uh, so kind of like these, price, price tags. Yeah, or whatever they they're called. I don't know what they're called. So. I took the insides out of two of them, and then I cut the, uh, this is just a, um, what do you call it? a page protector. 
I, I must not have my good words today because they're escaping me. It does that sometimes. <laughs> but I took the page protector and um, put the bug in between the page protectors and then closed it up with two of the rings. So I'm going to use this somewhere. And this side, I see this is how it looked. This is just the plane. I think that's awesome. And this side has the colors on the rim. The Beautiful. On the rim. So I'm going to use that somewhere. And then here's the big butterfly that I finally managed to get cut out. That was so difficult. And I painted <laughs> it. <laughs> I painted it with those uh, uh, metallic watercolors too. Yeah, I checked those out. I'm going to I'm going to watch for them on a sale. Mm -hmm. But I they are just gorgeous and uh, they really are. They really are. And we I found was, the name of them and I I forgot what it was now. Do you remember? Um it's in our messages. I could Oh, is it? Yeah, remember you you messaged oh, it to me, me so okay. it'll be right here. Oh, well, it was um oh, you're looking our, okay. Rich Rich Richison R I C H E S O N Colligate semi moist watercolor pans, and they were oh, they're a thick blick, is where um, the link yeah. was that she sent them to and me. And actually, I just went back in uh, to, to um, on Amazon and searched for metallic watercolors, and it came, it was like the second one or something. Oh, cool! Up. So it should be easy enough to find, but yeah, they're pretty fun. So that's mainly what I'm doing today. Awesome, and back over to you, Melody. <laughs> I I had gone a different couple different directions in my head before I got started. I always kind of just wait till it's that day because if I plan ahead too much, I'll end up overthinking it and it just takes some of the spontaneity out of it. So originally I had planned <clears throat> to put the um spine or get the, the signature sewn into this uh leather backed one. And the thing that I want to do, which is put um, snaps in there, metal snaps as the as the whole the stabilizers. Um, I want to put gold ones in there. The tool that I need, I can't find, of course. But I did get some of those snaps put onto the purse, so I got some things oh. done. But um, just just for bling, you know, just for some. And it and the zipper still works, so I I did a good job on that because I was about ready to. Oh. You're not attaching anything to the snaps or, or you are? Uh, no, the snaps are just decorative. What will happen okay. when, when I get the tool, when I figure out where my tool is, this type, not this one, um, this one will be right here and the thread will come out of it. Oh, okay. Because it will have a hole there, the thread will come out of it, go to the next one. So this will be like a, like a, um, not a brad, but a eyelet. Instead, mm -hmm. it's a it's a snap. And I've done it before. I just can't find yeah. the little tool that I that I do it with. So, anyways, that put me off of this one because I was going to put the signature in and do page layouts in there. So that's that was a distraction on that part. So then I thought, okay, fine, come back here. Then I decided, well, I'll bring out my. I have these in my store, uh, anywhere from they're five to six ounces, and they look. It looks like this. It's quite a bit because they're little snippets and it's neutral. And I thought I'll work with these so that I can show what I have in my store, do a little self-promotion. But at the same time, honestly, this is exactly what I needed anyway. So, but, um, so I created, oh, I put those away. And I did tassel Tuesday on Tuesdays and I did a steampunk, uh, tassel over there, uh, another little one. But I, so I started creating these flip ups, the, uh, fabric flip ups for our, mm -hmm. for my pages. And some of this is the little uh, bits of neutrals that come in this pack. So that would be MelodyMade.com. So there, I'm done with that. I don't have to talk about that anymore. I really don't like self-promotion. I mean, I don't mind saying, hey, you should check out my video. But because I feel like that's not selling, that's just sharing like, hey, come check out what I'm doing. But well, I'm gonna uh, show, I'm, since you're talking about that, I'm going to show my Melody bucket. Oh, I, yeah. <laughs> this is. This I got all of this from Melody because she does the packets with the different colors, and I just wanted small pieces. I mean, I have plenty of fabric, but I don't have a lot of variety with small pieces. So that's I got all of this from Melody and a couple of different packages, and I put it in this humongous jug. So uh, that works really well. Oh, Bella, I can see I the, think that's um, so fun. 
because yeah, it is. how yeah. often do you need to just grab just a little thing? So we have Annie Creates has joined us. Now I met Annie through a um, ATC uh, challenge that she's doing over on her channel. So you guys check out her channel. It's fun. If you send her an ATC, you get entered into a challenge and I've sent mine. She doesn't know that. I didn't tell her that, but I've been watching every day. She's had 17, 18, 19 of them, I think that have come in so far. Really cute little short videos, but you get to see what people are making. Um, so then uh, I, I really got involved thinking how fun. So, and then I also joined Carla's crafty something I need to figure out that name but and I sent her one so I got I got I got like down a, 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 a oh goodness a rabbit hole you know what I mean you get to get involved in something hashtags and all that is so fun and we have uh Dorcas here hi Dorcas she says her new job lets her watch while she works oh my gosh that is the best job ever <laughs> yeah I used to have one like that too I was by myself all the time oh yeah and I didn't have a lot to do, so it was nice, and they didn't care. So, well, the thing is, is I know honesty, depending on the job, as long as you're getting your work done, right? Especially yeah. like if you're on call and you don't have you have time in between, something's going to happen. I'm so glad mm -hmm. Dorcas is here. She moved from one part of Idaho to another, and um, she is uh, she's in a whole transition in her life. But once she gets settled in she's going to get back to her channel and doing the things she used to do now this is i'm working on fabric flips here oh i miss you too sweetie um and the fabric is just a fabric that i had that because of the colors and the fact that it had flowers made me drawn to it because it has the dark dirty kind of grungy look but it had a flower that made me feel um feminine and i, I that's what i try to do with my steampunk is bring um yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just kind yeah. of like uh, a feminine with the steam. And so now I have this uh, an actual steam um, boat here in a picture, a vintage picture of it, and then the floral um, kind of grungy fabric on this side. I'm as, I'm as good with my words today as you are, Deb. Well, some days I just get that way. And usually it's because my mind is going really fast with with creative stuff or I'm really tired, one or the other. I'm, I don't really feel tired, but I think it's just because I haven't been able to, well, we've talked about this before. I've been working on those wedding dresses and I think I'm just, my mind has just been trying to get that done. And now my mind is free again. I can, I don't have to sew. I I'm so happy think. for you. I know that that was weighing on you. And the thing is, really is when you commit, yeah, when you commit to something until it's done, you're just never gonna feel the relief, you know, because well, you're, you're, yeah. a, normally you know, it doesn't you're, bother me that much, you know, because I'm, I'm always, I try not to procrastinate, but I do work well under pressure. So yeah. it's, as long as I know, I still have enough time for it. It doesn't bother me too much, but I don't know this, I guess maybe I'm getting older. Well, I am getting older, but I guess that's maybe why or something, but it just really bugged me this time. So I don't know, this might be the last time that I do it. I do it as a gift, so it's not like I have to do it, you know, but I don't want to, I don't want to be stressed out over it, even as, even for a gift, so. Yeah, so I no, think I my mind's just free, and it's going in a hundred different directions now, and of things I wanted to get back to doing, and that's probably why. Annie says, Deb, who is sweet little fur baby? <laughs> that is Bella. She was down here needing some attention, so I picked her up for a minute. She's a miniature schnauzer, and uh, she's she's about uh, almost three years. Well, let's see. I guess she'll be three in October, so she's about two and a half now. She's my buddy. I yeah. have two upstairs. They're not allowed in the craft room because of uh, shedding for me. It's uh, my one little white one. He's um, part Corgi and part uh, Jack Russell. But that dog, I I, I wear his fur, uh, oh my gosh, probably as much as he does. And I and I know I just can't have him down here for that reason. Yeah. But Well, schnauzers are pretty good about that. They, they shed minimally. I mean, you, I couldn't even... I, you wouldn't even be able to find anything from her. Yeah. You know? 
We had Scottish Terriers, four of them, and I never had to roller my clothes or worry about anything. I mean, you'd find it in the vacuum cleaner occasionally, but it, you know, because there was four of them and whatnot, but nothing like what goes on right now. Yeah, um, yeah I've got two little boys. Mine are uh, Ricky, Ricky Bobby, which is after Talladega Nights. My husband has a sense of humor and um, Rudy, which he came with his own name. So we didn't choose it, but he's a Rudy. So we um, just, you know. <laughs> Make it work. He's a cutie, though. Yeah, my, my I think I talked about that before. My granddaughter's cats are um, Roxy. What is it? I always forget. Roxy Rose, I think, and Ricky Bob. Yeah. <laughs> Ricky Bob and Roxy Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Animals are the best, huh, Annie? Animals are the best, especially as we get older, you know, and the kids are grown and they fill that void a bit. Yeah, Bella's a pretty good girl. She's be irritating sometimes, but her real name is uh, Dame Isabella, but we call her Bella. So I I'm think I'm going to make a few, a few little yeah. booklets here. So I'm looking at yeah, I'm working on the tag that'll go in the front that says this journal belongs to. I figured since I just put that pocket in there, sometimes it's just easier for me to complete a look rather than get all the bases down and then go back and fill them in. I don't know. I, I do it both ways. Tell you have an ADHD, you just you just do whatever. <laughs> Annie says she loves her kitty peanut. Aw. That's an awesome name. <laughs> well, let's see now. I have, I did, I've been working all morning, so I do have a few tags done. I guess I could show you those, and I'm, I think I'm going to stick them in the, in the signatures and see what I have left to do. So I'll just show you. I'm going to go a little closer, maybe. Where's my thing? Uh, oh, Annie says she started liking steampunk because of me. I think she's uh, referring to that, that uh, I did too. But oh, so Annie, did you get to see the other one? Annie follows me on, um, Instagram. And what happened was, is this lady uh, creating, creating with Jovi did does Tuesday tassels. And she did a prompt with another uh, group, which are, are, I, I don't know if it's a, a YouTuber, if it's a group, if it's a hashtag, but they did bottle caps, Deb. Wow. So I took this bottle cap and I punched a hole in it and I put that little uh, metal thing on there and then I filled it with cogs. So I oh, fulfilled I the- Yeah, I watched you do that. Yeah, the prompt. So I fulfilled the prompt and, and I got another another tassel out of it. But this uh -huh. is the first one we made, uh, Deb and I had done. She Deb, Deb and I always do something different. That way you get two, two inspirations in one video. And that's what I love about this. But I had done, I think this last week, this tassel. And then you, know, uh, you making those and you seem to have a lot of trouble with your uh, closing your rings. Yeah, I, yeah, I hate the rings. I'm, I'm wondering if you would like for me to show you the proper way to do jump rings. Yes, please. If no, if, if you don't no, know, I, I don't, I don't usually buy them. But I remember I accidentally bought that from uh, Walgreens because it was a bronzy color. And I thought, oh, I, I was grab, you know, it grabbed me with the bronzy color, but it's their jump well, rings. It's not. I think you've got the, um, uh, the split rings down. You look like you were doing those really well. But oh, I that's different. There's okay. So you're talking about the, oh, you're talking about the ones that have the, okay. I, I I'm am a new regular jump rings. Whew. My husband was trying to explain that to me, too, because I'm getting them confused. You're talking. I got the ones that are a twirly ones figured out because I bought the tool. Yes. Yes. But, but you're I talking think... about I bought the ring to put on my finger, but I really am not yeah. good at it. Yeah. The ring thing is it's really easier just to use pliers. And I'll just show you right quick. Well, this is a rabbit trail. It's a rabbit trail. Yeah. So here is a jump ring. And that's the one with just a split that has one split. Okay. And this is a heavy, this is a pretty heavy weight one, but it's the same for any. I like to, now these aren't my regular jewelry pliers. These are my craft pliers. My jewelry okay. pliers are over on the other side, but they do have the bent, the bent nose. And I like bent nose pliers to do my jump rings because I can okay. hold it like this. Oh, wow. See where, see where the split is uh -huh. right here at the top. So you hold it. 
like half of the jump ring and the pliers with the split at the top. And then if you, I have two pairs of bent nose pliers, but it'll work, it'll work even with straight pliers. And you take the other one on the other side and you just twist. Oh. That's all you, you twist it open. That's how you open it. Okay. It's hard to see, isn't it? Oh, I, so I understand. It, it that because see, it, I always pull them apart. No, that's not the way to do it because it <laughs> I, I completely well, agree because I have you. such a hard time with it. Yes, and that's why I'm showing you because it weakens the it weakens the um metal and mm -hmm. you can never get it back together exactly. Right. So so try I mean there are times when I've had to, but try not to all you you just want to do it this way. Okay. Not the other okay. way. And then after you put something on there and you're ready to close it, you do just the opposite. You bring them back to the center and pass and then come back and you can line it up perfectly that way. So Thank it's like you. open it with a twist like this, but not pulling it apart. Right. And then when you put it back together, you just twist it back, pass it and then bring it back to where it's supposed to be. Now, I don't know what passing it really does. I guess it just sort of straightens the ring back out, but it does make a difference. Annie says, thank you for that. It, you made it look so easy, Deb, and you did. Thank you so much. Because I really, I've been, I've been just making a mess out of everything lately, but I, I just do it, uh, you know, part time. I, and I never, I don't know. I just have never gone and like explored on how to do it well, right. I mean, I, I didn't want to uh, be pushy or anything, but I could see you were struggling and I knew there was an easier way. So. <laughs> and I appreciate yeah, that. You can try not to pull it apart. That's you know, straight part. Okay, well, you want me to show these, I guess? I'll show these. So these are what I've done already this morning. I'm just trying to get some tags made. Why is that glare so bad there? I don't know. And uh, I just, you know, put some lace and little tidbits. That and, is, those uh, are stunning. And some, what do you call these? Gears. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another Annie one. says she yeah. has to go get ready. She says, thank you. Have a great day or happy day. Thank you, Annie. See you later. Bye, Annie. <laughs> That's what my husband calls my daughter is Annie. Her middle name oh. is Ann. And here's another one. This is just one of those little Tim Holtz. Oh, I love the blue. And yeah, some other things. This has, yeah. Mm -hmm. And this has Brad's. And... Here's another one. I kind of have to, you know, I want them to, some to go in the ladies and some to go in the gentlemen. So some of them are a little girlier. Now uh, this one's probably not done, but it's started. And that's just a real card on there. Whatever. Nothing really special, just, you know. And yes, I like to use black tags. I use them all the time. <laughs> Here's this one. Here's this one. Here's another Tim Holtz person. I just thought he looked kind of steampunky oh, with his yeah. gloves on and everything. And his dog. <laughs> I think when they have the hats, that's definitely. Yeah. And this guy. I like making oh. tags. And this one's got a couple different laces on it. So. I got to so be careful because this thing actually has to close. <laughs> yeah. So, I gotta be so I'm just going to go through and put some of these in where I think they might go. Yeah, I think that's, that's kind of what I'm doing right now is uh, deciding how much because I got to be careful not to overdo it or it won't zip up or they won't be able to add anything of their own, which would be right. Exactly. Sad. But uh, yeah, the ephemera is always the fun part. Picking out all kinds of I fun. Really, things. I really like this right here. I like that a lot. That's beautiful. Turned out pretty. Mm 
using my mini stapler today. Love that thing. I don't have one of those. Hmm? I don't have one of those. No, you know that you can take the, the staples and use the um, Ranger alcohol inks on them and turn them colors so you could like have it bronze or copper and uh, looks really, it's a really cool accent. But I, I got mine. I have a sister-in-law that was in um, close to my heart. And so I got mine through her uh, and uh, I've just used it ever since. This is a CD envelope that somebody had sent me. Ooh. Died, so I just cut the flap off and I think this might go good in there. That looks good in there. Oh, good. Kind of hard to see, isn't it? Everything has so much glare. Yeah, it's, it's going to be part of the part of the struggle for ever. Well, I can see I haven't put any many pockets in here yet, so I don't have anywhere to put my change it. <laughs> I guess I better get busy and make some pockets. <laughs> I cut some side uh, some side ones on a um, with the uh, reversible paper, and then I cut some belly bands, but I haven't layered up on them yet. I figured I would do that. Right now, I just trying to incorporate some of this paper in here to. break up the pages that, that are already there. I did my video, uh, yes, not yesterday, but Wednesday's, um, Wild well, Wednesday outside on my deck. Oh. It was awesome. And I used tempera um, paint sticks that I got from, um, oh, Tuesday morning. Well, I was, I did see some of that. I didn't see the whole thing, but I was curious as to why you used uh, paint sticks. I mean, tempera. Because I, I don't have that product. I've not used that product. I don't really know anything about it. And so I thought I would see how it, you know, like reacted and if I could do something different with it. I, I do need to be, I was trying to create um, spring pastel -y, uh, colors and, and it has 24 really beautiful colors. And uh, so I just thought, what the heck? And I, I also thought, honestly, that I could use it with um my um uh the uh, art journaling you know like mm -hmm. i could layer down my collage and then um do things with that on top of that so i was mm -hmm. thinking maybe that because that's it's just it's just like school paint isn't it that's all i've ever known it, that yeah before. it's like uh it's just a powdered paint it doesn't have the resins or the um linseed oil or anything like that um, when I was in school, they would take um, tempera paint, which is cheap, mostly. Right. Cheap paint. And um, add egg. I can't remember if we just added egg yolk. I mean, egg whites, maybe. And linseed oil. And we would use that as like a, a fake oil paint because it would react, you know, it would act or it would, it would feel the same way when you were painting with it almost as oils. But it didn't hmm. cost so much, you know. Right, right. That's what I figured is that I, I knew that it was inexpensive. I didn't know the um, like the uh, ingredients or anything. I appreciate you telling me that because I I that makes sense now because it really acts weird. But the fun thing about it was, Deb, is that I could put it down. And when I when I will put water on it, and put the paper on it, it had these like very organic lines, almost like waves of water or something because it didn't it didn't blend together or say it was weird it was very weird but it was also unusually it was fun so uh -huh. i'm glad i got them i'm going to try to work with them on um on my art journals and doing my collages and stuff and see what i can do with them there but it's different i had never seen it before yeah it is different but that's, I, I mean, you know, I don't remember the exact recipe because I was in great or uh, middle school or whatever they call it now. But um, mm -hmm. I do know that she put linseed oil and egg of some kind in there. I And I'm guessing it was probably egg white to give it a something. I don't know. But I'm not sure. <laughs> There's a recipe in existence someplace. Yeah. <laughs>
Oh, that sounds, I, I just, sometimes with those uh, Wild Wednesdays, I just don't want to do the same thing every week with the same products because I, I wouldn't even go watch somebody do that, you know? <laughs> and, and I love to watch things, but it's like, nah, nah, if you're gonna, if you're just gonna, I mean, I can always do a different technique and style, but it just, sometimes I think, uh, how fun is it to find out what, how does this product work on the jelly right. plate? So yeah. I tend to do that a bit. Yeah. And they were just there. They were just there. Mm. But I wouldn't use them, you know, for a lot of things, they wouldn't be my go-to paints, right. but I think I can use them. Well, I think you can probably do some interesting things with them, you know? Yeah. Yeah. They're just going to be, they're just going to be a, because they, they were twelve ninety nine, but there was twenty four of them in there, and so that was like fifty cents a stick. And I thought, well, you know, I would probably, and here and here I had this large because you really can't get that color range unless you buy a set, right? Without you know buying a ton. And so that was really for me twenty four different colors, and it had six metallics. But twenty four colors was a range that I don't I don't have in anything except for my ink tints, which I don't use um, on the jelly plate. I did buy the whole big set of ink tents because I love those things. Do you work with ink tents, pencils? Um, I have pencils. I've used them um, on fabric. And um, actually, I used them on a flower sack towel. Yeah. I did flowers on a flower, roses and uh, morning glories on two flower sack towels just to test it and see how it would work. And right. it stayed on there. Um, I used a... Um, a fabric medium with it mm -hmm. and it stayed on there through several several washes i mean it still stayed on there it faded a little bit but not too bad i was really surprised wow it really stayed on there so and yeah i've used them a little bit here and there you know <sighs> so the facebook user is that you dorcas but yeah say, say dorcas. It's dorcas when you when you have a comment but she says she is buying a friend's JJ Supply six boxes of the stuff. Wow. Oh, you should have told me. I would sell you six boxes of stuff at my <laughs> house. In fact, if you find that's not enough, you let me know, girl, because I got, I, oh, I really, I really needed to stay in the sales uh, focus, but I just, I couldn't, I just couldn't. I, at this point, I, well, maybe almost, you'll go back to it, you know. Yeah. Yeah, well, I definitely will sell on the channel eventually. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm buying. I just bought another one. I'm excited about, but you know those those uh, junk jewelry vases. Um, I I'm gonna you know purge what I don't want out of those in um, like a flat rate envelopes. You know, so mm -hmm. you can get it. You know, it doesn't matter how much it weighs. But um, okay, look look at this for a second. Is this too goofy? Oh. Is, Is it, it too, what? Too goofy. I don't think so. Okay, good. I like no. it. I just, I just, I like it. It's too goofy looking. <laughs> Kimberly's trying to simplify her life. Dorcas says, "Oh yes." Well, I don't blame her because she she's focusing on quilting now. Her friend Kimberly uh, does the uh, had bought herself invested in a um, uh, long arm to do the quilting. Yeah, I my husband's asked me about that several times, and I told him I said. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not good with sticking with a very long-term project. I mean, I've yeah. made a few quilts and I really like them and I don't mind. I like hand quilting, but I can't, I'm getting out of where I can't do it. My hands won't do it. Right. Because they just no, cramp, you know, they just cramp up. Yeah. But um, I have several little quilts that I'm going to still try to do. I, um, but I'm going to, I'm going to try to quilt those free motion quilt those when I get around to it. But yeah, I've thought several times, I have a friend who has a long arm and it's, she loves it, but I just don't, I, I don't think I want one. And the other thing he's always trying to talk me into, because you know, he tries to come up with things to get me. Yeah. And, um, he's always tried to get me to do, um, uh, the flame work beads and stuff. Yeah. And I would love to do that, but I'm just like, I don't need one more thing. I don't need one more, one more division of, of creativity. 
I have yeah, exactly. I have too much already, and it, it's enough to keep me busy till I die. So you know, I'm yep. I just as many times as I thought about it and come across sales where I could have gotten some really nice stash of equipment and stuff. I just I just can't. I just don't want to do it. No, I don't blame you, sweetie. I I am in the same boat myself. Um, the resin, I, I really shouldn't have done that, but I kept I kept telling myself, you know, that because I have a niece and she would come over and we would do it together. And it was it was like family time, her and her daughter. Right. I mean, it, you know, we have masks and wear gloves and everything, but her and her daughter would come over and we would, it was just really, and, I, and so we bought tons of molds and we've done mm -hmm. so much stuff. And then uh, she doesn't come over anymore. And I, I kind of feel, I don't know. It's like, I feel ambivalent about whether I should go on without her. You know, it's like, I just said, okay, fine. Just focus on YouTube right now. I got Wild Wednesday. I got uh, this with you. I am doing some hashtag uh, collabs. Just trying to, I just, other than the hashtag uh, Joy of Blue, I haven't done any resin, but I've done some for that. I did that tic-tac-toe. Um, I don't know. It's a. It's just a game anyways. It's. Mm -hmm. um, I want to call it a plate, but it's not a plate. But and my heart really wasn't in it. I did what I know how to do, you know, mix the colors up and and do what I do. But it just, you know, I just did it to get it done. And I feel bad about that. It's like I, I don't really don't want to put my time into anything that makes me feel like that. Mm -hmm. so. Well, I just got some new small molds for my resin, but I'm not ready to do it yet because of the weather. It's still right now. My legs are freezing. <laughs> oh, wow. It's because I'm downstairs. You know, in the summer, it's great because you it stays coolish down right. here sometimes i'll have to turn on a fan just to circ circulate the air but, but right now it's it's we're still having a chilly we had snow the other day believe it or not in the middle of missouri or southeast wow. missouri. and uh, hopefully that was the last one but it's still chilly so i'm waiting for that and, and our and our hummingbirds are sporadically showing up there's a couple people said they've gotten them in our area but not many and I haven't seen ours yet, so I'm just going to keep putting the food out till they show up. This is yeah. Out. Usually they show up about the middle of April, so. But yeah, this once month has flown by so fast. Uh, yeah. Well, me and Marie telling you that my granddaughter was going to Florida for the uh, pickleball tournament. Yep. Well, that's where they are this this week. They're going oh. back on. Uh, Monday, I got to go back up to the airport, which is over. It's like an hour and a half away. Wow. I'm up on Monday, Kathy D's here. Kathy D actually oh, sent me an ATC with my uh, challenge to send me an ATC, and I mailed out her her envelope and um, tags inside from one of the sessions. I kind of got a thing going where I'm challenging people to send me an ATC. And uh, I will send you something from my jelly plate printing because I really it starts to pile up a bit. I love to do envelopes because they're just they're so small and it becomes just a single image, you know, and it's just like, boom, it's there. Whereas right. when you're doing a larger, you have to create a whole background and it just feels more overwhelming, which is, you know, I still do it. I love it. But I like to do the small envelopes, too. How do you like I my look at my little thingies here? <laughs> What are, oh, your, uh, are those your daubers? Yep, these are my daubers. They're they're from the makeup department. Right. And they, they come with this little thing to sit it in, like if you have it on your. Wow. Uh, so, so I'm, <laughs> so now I have, a, usually they're rolling all over the place because I can't keep track of them. So, so I got two, one for the walnut and one for the photo. So, so that's working pretty well. That's awesome. They still roll around a little, but mostly they stay sitting in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like that. I like the way he came out. Isn't he cute? <laughs> little guy. He's awesome. Oh. Now, let's see. How many do I have left? Some. Boy, girl, girl, girl. Oh, 
I just love this punch. I don't know if anyone's seen it lately. I've shown it quite a few times, but you can do up to two and a half inches and then as little as one inch or 1.5 inch and uh, it cuts the top of the tag for you. That's nice. It's just, it, oh, I'll tell you. Some things, if you can streamline it, you know, make it easier. Well, don't ever buy one of those We Are Memory Keepers corner cutter things. I have. did. I hate it. I, did. I absolutely hate it. I do too. I'm a sucker for that. But then my husband, my husband was the one doing that stuff. So I'm like, here, honey. And then of course, you know, <laughs> well, I don't like it. No. I didn't I even I use the like envelope little, punch anymore. Yeah, I like the envelope punch. I only have yeah, the tiny too. one. I need to yeah. get the bigger one, I think, because I think I would use it enough to get it. But I don't like that other thing. I saw advertised on Facebook, you know, how they pop up. Uh, um, hi, Kathy. I thought you were here already. Or am I behind? Where's my mouse? Oh, I had said it a bit ago. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I saw this advertisement on Facebook from Radio Shack, of all places, about they have a electric electronics booklet. It's a big, thick book. I can't remember how much it costs, like 30 bucks or something, 30 or 40 dollars. But it's all hand drawn schematics. And I thought, oh man, I wish I had that. I could really use that, but I don't want to spend 40 bucks for it. I know, huh? Okay, now. I think I could just do this sideways. Actually, I'm about ready to start sewing signatures in soon, maybe next week. I might have them in by next week. Who knows? I think we're going for pancake breakfast tomorrow morning. Woohoo! We went to one oh sometime last month um, for the fire station, a very small town fire station was trying to raise money for their suits, their protective suits. They've mm -hmm. had the same ones for 20 years. And they're yeah. really, really expensive. So we went there for that. And um, so this tomorrow, I guess we're gonna go to the, it's a local lodge or something where they're having pancake breakfast. That'll be fun. Yeah. Life's getting just a little bit normal again, huh? Yeah, I, I wish, you know, <laughs> but know. it's, yeah, it's uh, for us the biggest change has been the restaurants being closed, really, and um, because of our schedules and you know me being home most of the time anyway, it didn't affect me that much. But yeah, it affects some things. Yeah, we um, I'm I was it, this might sound bad, but I was I was glad because my husband has a bit of a. I don't know. He just, he likes to eat out. And I was trying to get to where I didn't uh, go out because it was really hard for me to make the kind of choices that I wanted to make yep. in a restaurant. Like if, even if I ordered something that was okay, they still would have either, either bread or French fries or um, right. You know, just, there was just something on the plate that I just wasn't going to eat. And so it just was a waste of money for me to, I don't know. I just didn't, I wasn't feeling it the way I used to. And so that part was like, oh, okay. Now I don't have to worry about getting talked into going out to a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> I just make bad choices and then I don't feel well. I, I wish it was yeah. easy and, and it was just about weight because then it would be like, oh, okay, well, I can splurge today because I've been doing good or something. It's not about weight. It's about I don't feel good. And so it's just all, yeah. all kind of difficult. Like I had... um. One, the other day I made myself mimosas and I was out on the deck and the next day I felt like I was dying. <laughs> uh, it's too much sugar. Too much yeah. Sugar. Yeah, the sugar will get you. Yeah. Yeah, it will. Now I took this, um, I guess it's glassline. Is that glassline? 
anyways, it's a vintage one. It actually came from a vintage, uh, not a vintage, but a um, estate sale of a pharmacist. And then I added this journaling card inside. And then I think I'm going to edge the edges and then see if I'll, it'll fit in that area. That would have fit in there. I wonder if I could cut it down. I could, I think. But do I want to? That is the question. How much? How much? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm really pleased with how this is coming along. I'm liking. I'm liking all the stuff. No, you're doing awesome. It's a, it's a true inspiration. I'm I'm surprisingly pleased with how um, airbrushing these edges worked. I really like the tone of the pages a lot, a lot more than I thought I would. Yeah, I was uh, so tempted to go buy myself a <laughs> an airbrush, and I'm like, okay, again, I I got to stop thinking I I need to have everything I see. <laughs> it can be tempting. It can be pretty tempting. Yep. All right. Tempting. So I think I think this one will go here. And that's a journaling opportunity that I should probably put a tab on them. I like to do tabs when something's a little bit ambiguous. Of, does it come out? How does it come out? What do we do? Throw a tab on there. I still haven't come up with the inside fabric yet for this journal. I have to do that sometime soon. Dada. I see you. We're going to be heading out of town next month for seven days. So we, I Ooh. won't be, um, I'll have to, uh, you can go ahead and uh, stream that day and just uh, let everybody know that. I'll, well, well, how many, was that the pup? Yes, she's, <laughs> she's like, yeah, doesn't she? She's yawning. She's yawning, whining at the same time. I think that's what, <laughs> what's probably the best way to call it. <laughs> Let's see. He told me we're leaving the 9th. So um, today's the 23rd. So we have the 30th and the 7th. So on the 7th, we'll announce that I won't be here on that following Friday. But uh, and then you can decide before then if you what if you want to make any commitments or announcements or anything. I'm not going to hold you to anything today, but uh, it'll. It'll be awesome. My husband and I will be our 21st wedding anniversary week. What What's the date of it? Uh, we'll be going the 9th through the 16th. My anniversary is the 13th. Oh, well, ours is, ours is the, the 29th of April. Wow. 49. Oh, my gosh. I can only hope. I don't, I don't think the two of us will probably be... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's like mixed. It's a mixed blessing. Do I want to live to where I would have been married 49 years? Uh, life you know, is kind of hard pretty, uh, at that age. <laughs> started pretty young. So, you know, what can I say? Yeah. My, this is my, my, uh, my husband is my third husband, but, uh, and I was 34, but it's a blessing for both of us. So you just take them when you can get them. Yeah. <clears throat> I really like this uh, teal uh, flowers on the edge of this. Yes, I agree. That is beautiful. Nice. Put this up on. 
save that. So I'm just going through these scraps and I'm just creating some little tags and things. And so anything that's small, I'm trying to like, I have this little envelope and I'm trying to find something that would fit inside of there so that when someone digs in it, you know, they'll have, they'll always find all the little secret things that are inside of there. I could use this just as a label off of something. Let's see, prescriptions. Uh, use more Radden Maker, Radden Marker. What? I don't know. You see it? It's just a label. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what they Yeah, I don't either. It's probably something made up, anyways, but I'm going to put that in there, then close that up, and then put it inside of here. And so there's a little secret in there. I'm trying to fill up this three slotted thing. The one, mm -hmm. remember the one I had cut out? Yeah, I'm going to have two of those to fill up now that I finally got one. I think the better way to do it is maybe just do something uh, folded in half, but not that. Ooh, Let's do it going again. Woohoo! I feel like my brain's around the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I think this inspiration is pretty cool. I don't know. Sometimes I, oh yeah, I go off the grid, you know, or off the path. I don't. It doesn't have to be. I sometimes for me, it's more about colors than it is just the theme. I, I won't go too far off the. Once I find a color scheme, I'll I'll kind of stay tight with that. But um, as far as the themes and stuff, I I'm all over the place. Oh goodness. Happy Friday. I'll tell you. We have oh, I'm uh, so glad one of my friends. <laughs> huh? I'm just so glad I'm done sewing. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> because I, 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 knew I didn't hear from you all week. You must have been busy, busy, busy. And I and so yeah. I thought, oh wow, I better message. Just make sure she's still up for today. <laughs> well, you know, all week I'm in, in the back of my mind, it's been okay, I gotta get busy and sew. I gotta get busy and sew. And then yeah. I'd have, you know, you can't just sew and do nothing else. You have to do everything else too. And right. it really, it really was bothering my back. I don't oh. know the chair or what, because it's a different chair and it's not. It's, I think the chair is too low for one thing, but whatever. For whatever reason, I was just ready to be done. Yeah, ready to be done. <coughs> what? Excuse me. Printed out a bunch of stuff this week to use. You did what with stuff? I printed a bunch of stuff out this week to use. Oh, for this journal? Mm -hmm. Wow, they are going to be full of wonderful stuff. That's why I like it. I like them to have room to write, but I like them to be full of stuff. Too. Yeah. Fun stuff. Bella, what time is it? No, you're fine. It's not even close to time for you. Come here. Where are you? Come here. Come here, baby. Come on. What are you doing? Come here. What's in the room? Come here, babe. Come here and see me. Come here and see me. Oh my gosh, you're heavy. You want to say hi? Huh? You want to say <laughs> hi? Oh, can you kiss your mama? Give you mama some kisses. No, oh, thank you. Very nice. Oh, kiss my neck. That's very nice. <laughs> okay. You can't stay up here. Don't get comfy. I can't work with you on my lap. No way. You ready to get down? Okay. <laughs> she just has to know that I'm here and thinking about her. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Let's see. I gotta make a pocket here. Where is that piece? Thank you. 
about decided that I'm going to buy me another or buy me a cart. I have two carts. One of them is it's an old projector cart. Remember when you were in school and they had yeah. they wheel the projector from room to room on this cart? Yeah. I mean, it's like indestructible. It's, <laughs> you know, so it's really heavy and I have a lot of stuff on it that I just kind of store there behind me so I can move it around. Just acts like an extra, you know, shelf or whatever. So I've got that. It pretty much stays in place. And then I have this little skinny one. It's one of those things you put between your washer and dryer. Oh, and yeah. And, you know, in a skinny little place. That's what it is. And that's, I keep a lot of my um, scrap stuff on there and tags that are finished and things like that. But I think I'm going to get another one just to put my sales bags and supplies on because those things are all over the place. <laughs> I, I use them on one side of the room, then I use them on the other side of the room. I'm always having to drag them around and they get in a mess. And I think if I had a cart that would roll around, I could put them in there and they would be better. So yeah. I think, I think that's what I'm going to do. Splurge a little bit. Well, making your life easier is what it's all about. Yeah. Sometimes I don't know, though, until you, you know, you don't know. I couldn't just go out and uh, buy a bunch of stuff without knowing what I was going to do with it exactly. Oh, and exactly. Like know. create a create a craft room without knowing the yeah. functionality of it. I couldn't. Yeah. That wouldn't work. And because as many times as I've moved or changed things around, you know, to make more room or to organize better, I never throw away or get rid of any kind of organization baskets or anything. I always right keep neither. Because I always go back and use them again, you know, or something in a different way. But, yeah. Uh, but I think I'm to where I need a new cart. So I guess I'll look for one of those. My, my daughter, you know, she, I mentioned before that she has a travel company. And um, for 2022, she's, she's doing a uh, Alaska cruise. Wow. And um, she told me, she said, Mom, are you going to go? And I said, well, I want to. <laughs> I lived in Alaska when I was like seven years old, but I don't remember that much about it. And, I, you know, I haven't ever, I've never been on a cruise, so I thought that would be fun. She says, okay, Mom, well, the reason I'm asking is it's going to cost you about $4,000. Wow. And I said, what? She said, yeah, that's how much it's going to be. Because I don't, you know, I don't, I always pay my way, you know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's less because, than other people's, because my husband is the tour host. And if he's there, I can stay in his room and it doesn't cost me extra, you know. Right. But um, I don't think I'm going. <laughs> I, can think of, I can think of an awful lot of things I'd rather spend that $4,000 for. I mean, I can go to Cancun twice for that, you know. Exactly. <laughs> So I don't know. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that unless something changes, I'm not going to go. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I used to always think someday I would go on a cruise. And then my husband and I kind of kind of looked at each other and kind of just knew, no, we probably won't ever go on one because of what happened with the COVID. My husband said when he got out of service and since then, he's never going on another cruise. He spent yeah. enough time on ships, and he has no desire to go on another one. But he would if he wanted to, you know. If I wanted to, he'd take me. This is some of that paper um, that I got with, you know, that you were showing the, where is it? Yeah, the lacy. Yeah, you were showing this. Uh-huh. This is some of the paper I got in the packet with that. I really like it, too. It makes me kind of think of a birch tree. Oh, yeah. The, the, the texture, the, look, the way it looks, you know. But it's pretty beautiful. All right, yeah. I always have this tendency when I have two signatures. The first one, if I start at the front and start working at it, the first one will have all this really cool stuff in it. And then when I get to the second one, I've run out of all the cool stuff. And now I'm using the second cool stuff, you know. <laughs> so, so now 
So I started trying to work in both of them back and forth. And that way, all my favorite stuff isn't in the first signature and not in the second. <laughs> I'm just mainly um, because I had sold all of the kits that I had. See, because I, I was buying from Chalbella straight from Italy. It would get shipped to me from Italy. And um, I was buying the Fanti Fan Fantastics and the ex uh, uh, Extraordinaire and I was taking them and I was blending them, which I thought was really cool, you know, because then nobody would have the same combination, you know, because I would blend them my way right. and all this stuff. And then when it got done and, and I wasn't going to probably order it anymore because um, the shipping cost is astronomical. But mm -hmm. um, I uh, I had just this little bit left and I have some, some of it is uh, graphics 45. Cause I would have, they would, I would purchase from them. I had a wholesaler's license. So mm -hmm. I was um, buying, which is only a certain discount. It's not as dirt right. cheap as, you know, anyone would want to think, but anyways, and that's why all the uh, providers have to mark up so much anyways, between shipping and all that. So I had those uh, leftovers. And so that's why I wanted to do this because I'm like, OK, so I have a bit left over because I like I got out of Halloween last year. I, I got rid of all every ounce of Halloween that I had and I downsized my Christmas to just what I would do if I wanted to make some ATCs or send out some, you know, uh, Christmas cards or do a project or swap with somebody, but not like, you know, store volume which is uh, what I had. And so yeah. that, that's that been taken a, a lot off of my mind, but I want I wanted to do that with the steampunk. And then if I wanted to get back into it, if I wanted to find something to buy, I could feel comfortable because this is all, you know, I just don't like to hoard things. Mm -hmm. it, it just, to me, it feels- Oh, are you big on, you big on Halloween or just to sell it? I No, well, I was, I'm not big on Halloween and I was, I had it because there was, um, there was uh, the graphics 45. Um, I was doing the Dorothy and Dorothy Halloween mm -hmm. and the uh, Alice in Wonderland Halloween. I was making kits out of those. And then I had a Martha Stewart. Uh, there was a sale, Martha Stewart, and I ended up buying a ton of her stuff and putting that in packs and bundling it up. Was she did paper? Um, yeah, Martha Stewart does paper. She does uh, paper packs. That. She must not be doing good at it because, like I said, her Halloween that year, it was dirt cheap, like $3 yeah. a paper pack. And I would split them up and add them to other things because I, I don't know. I just like to make things different. So I would I would like almost harvest it. You know, it wouldn't be ever go out the same way it came in. Hi, Belinda. Hi, Hi. Belinda. We get to talk and we forget to look. I Yeah, I normally am pretty good about it, but I really got to jabbering i um sorry i didn't mean to interrupt you no you're fine i'm glad love to say hi to belinda belinda and i have been friends uh for three years she is a wonderful lady i just uh am trying to go through and figure out what i have what it can be what can be done with it if i don't plan on doing something with it then i need to get rid of it yeah so which is what we all all really do in some way or another. You know, we may not be doing it consciously, but just <coughs> got to get out from underneath the overwhelmed, overwhelmingness of it all. Oh, my goodness. Sorry. Oh, something's got my sneezer going. <sighs> wow. Well, I think my next thing I'm going to have to search for is some stainless steel pins that fit these glue bottles. Yes, I'm in because the same boat. I, the one I, I just bought from, and they aren't, two of them didn't even fit. I mean, they're oh, pretty, really? they did not fit my bottle they're from a bigger hole. And one of them does fit, but I'm, I'm not so sure it's steel. 
I mean, it's not rusted yet. It looks a little funny, you know. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, I'll probably go to the, um, is it glitter glue? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Designer art glitter glue. I'm probably going to go to their site and just look for refill pins because that's the, the bottle that I have. And I've been, I've lost that thing. I probably lost that thing the same week I bought the glue. Yeah. I've well, stuck everything I, in there. I had a, um, I did. Put, I saved that one to, and just in case these didn't work. I don't know where I put it. The one I have has got ribbons on it, so that I don't lose it. I got one ribbons on that one, and then I've got ribbons on my. Now, uh, isn't there ladies that decorate those? Things? I Gail had one years ago. Uh, yes, she was and I just promoting. bought some from somebody, which you I don't did? remember who it was now. And, and did um, it work or did you lose it? Well, no, it's working. But it's starting to, I don't know if you could tell. See, it's starting to get specks on it. Oh, um, yeah. See right there, you could see where it's. Yeah. So I don't know if it's been in here for several, a couple days. So I don't know. It's not rusting yet. I have no rusty glue. And it will rust if you put something else in it. Yeah, but um, yeah, the regular ones they don't turn at all, they just stay shiny, you know. Ernest, Ernest says she loves the art glitter glue. I do too. I just I lost that pin, and so honestly, it dries up on me all the time. I have to reopen the top, it just has become a bit of a hassle. But this is, and I've always everybody who knows me knows this is my favorite glue. I use this for metals, for fabrics, for paper, for everything. And it, I buy it practically in bulk. If it, for yeah. like when the um, pandemic first hit, they 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 were selling it for twenty five dollars a bottle. Oh my word! I know. So I, I slowed down. Huh? Is it normally that high? No, it's normally. I was buying it for ten dollars a bottle, ten ninety nine. Then it mm -hmm. went up to twelve. But it goes a long ways. Like it. A bottle goes a long ways. And for me, my biggest thing is, is that if I'm creating something and it falls apart after they get it, then yes. what is the save? Where am I saving money? That's right. right. And if I don't, I don't buy the glue that I know is going to do what I need it to do, because I'm mm -hmm. really bad. I just throw everything like I'm, I'm going to throw paper. I'm going to throw some fabric and then I'm going to throw a button on top there. And if I don't have the right glue that grabs it and dries quickly and then will stay there, I, I've wasted my time. And so that's why I spend the extra money on it. Yeah, I agree with that concept. It's it's just sad to see, because I've gotten things that even even in the envelope, by the time they got to my house through the mail, some of the, you know, um, oh, May May sells them, Belinda? I'll, I'll check her out. Because I, I would like a decorated one. And the funny thing is, is if I, if I buy one, then I'll know how to do it and I can make my own. But well, I knew I could make my own. It's just been, I haven't been able to find the pins locally. Here are the ones I, I got. Oh, oh, and those are beautiful. One. And then this one, they came together. And they're just glued on there. You know, you can mm -hmm. see they're just glued on there. But these two are too big for this bottle. It, I mean, they'll work in, a, in some other glue, but they don't work in this bottle. That one was smaller. Right. Um, and I like the way they look and, and they're nice. But um, I'm just worried it's going to turn. Maybe it'll just darken the pan and that'll be all. That's fine. I don't mind about that. I'm really not liking this right here. That's getting too light. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny how something can bother you? Literally bother you. Well, I think because it's too white. So I'm just going to take the chance and here we go. It's either <laughs> change it or remove it, one or the other. Uh, I'll I'll actually feel a little better when I got one of these done. I don't usually do multiple things at the same time because I already squirrel bad enough. Seriously, like I'm off on this glue book journey that's taken me to a whole nother world. I'm making I made my granddaughter um, a glue book with a Dollar Tree notebook, and she's coming tonight. She's six, and we're gonna work in the glue book together. And I'm so excited. <laughs> Yeah. I'm literally so excited. I could just like oh, dance around because I know she's going to really be excited that I took and I, I, I found a calendar page that had 
April 24th, which is the day of her birthday. And then I found a six and I put that on there. And then there's these, you know, just little fun things. And then behind there's all this other bright, colorful stuff. And it's just, it's just so fun. And she's just going to, and then the whole concept of just sitting and tearing paper and gluing it in and just making something that you love. It's just going to be fun. Yeah. Yeah. My granddaughter has her own table over there. I don't know how long that's going to last because she doesn't come down here since we're farther away she doesn't uh she's not here very much so i don't know you know space is premium <laughs> well and that's what happened to me space i had a premium. yeah i had a, a a folding card table in the middle of my room which is still there but now it's just something different and i had two chairs there and my niece my grandniece and my granddaughter would sit there and, and do crafts. Well, that was years ago, and now they're 15, and they're mm -hmm. going to sit and do crafts with, with Mimi, you know. So I um, I turned it into my photo station where I have one of those white boxes that you can put things in with the lights on it, and you take pictures. And so, yeah, you snooze, you lose. They lost their spot. <laughs> yep. Well, when we moved in, this house has uh, three bedrooms. And then it has this room. It's the tiniest room. I mean, it's smaller than a bathroom. That's how tiny it is. It's supposed to be a little office. And there's really? just, yeah, they had a, a shelf and a, a standing shelf and a desk in there is what the, the previous people had. Mm -hmm. And um, we have now have a futon. And that's all. <laughs> <laughs> and there might be a little tiny, tiny table in there. Yeah, I think there is. And that's supposedly her room. But when we first moved in, my husband was telling her that she was going to get the third bedroom, which is our guest room. Right. Always our guest room, you know, because one bedroom we use for the computers and stuff. And uh, finally, I, I told him, I said, we can't do that, dear. I said, um, we got to have a guest room. She and, and she's not going to be here hardly at all. There's no sense in setting aside that much of our house for just sitting there idle, you know. Yeah, no, because she's never there. So I talked to her about it and to see because I didn't want her to think I was just, you know, pushing her out. <laughs> she wouldn't think that anyway, but I, you know, I wanted her to understand. She says, Yeah, Grammy, that's fine. So she got to pick out her futon and all that kind of stuff, and we put that in there. and when she comes over, she can either sleep in the guest room or she can sleep in there on the futon, either one she wants to do. Yeah. So she changes over, you know. But that way, the guest room can stay nice and um, she has her own little private space, you know. And that room wasn't going to get used for anything, really. I, It wasn't going to be an office, that's for sure. So now right. that's Olivia's room. You know, and she likes that, so. <sighs> Oh. oh goodness you know every time we do this it's amazing how fast time flies yep isn't it well it's only been an hour i know <laughs> getting tired of me <laughs> no i just i have the granddaughter coming tonight so i was going to keep myself or at least pay attention so that i could keep myself on track um i uh I haven't, uh, so two granddaughters are birthdays in April. Uh, Grace's, she's turned 15, April 9th, and then Cassidy's turning um, six, uh, April 24th. And I still have not sewn, uh, Gracie had bought a skirt that had uh, some famous artists, um, the, the blue like water thing anyways. She, I don't remember the artist, but anyway, she bought a skirt and she thought she would love it. Well, she didn't. So her mom came to me without Gracie knowing it and saying, hey, would you make a pillow out of this so that she can at least have the image, you know, in her room? And so, and I bought the pillow forms, but I haven't got the skirt made into a pillow yet. And we're oh, gonna I, won't, tomorrow. I won't take you long. Yeah, no, I just got to uh, cut it up, sew it up, be done. Uh, yeah, especially since I just bought I bought a pillow form because I didn't want it to get lumpy if she wanted to throw it in the washer or something. I just tried to. They're spendy though. Oh, I couldn't believe how spendy I they are. I know they really they're are. 
It's like but they look so much. They look so much nicer than just stuffing them. Yes, I, mean, I agree. It really does make a difference. Yeah, I agree. That's why, and, and you know, fifteenth birthday. I figured uh, I need to. I need to make sure and do something that will make her feel like it's a special, special celebration. She's going to be getting her driver's permit. She's going to be oh. moving on to, oh, I'll tell you. Oh, it goes so fast. She's my firstborn grandchild, and so it's hard seeing her get so mature. Especially since this year, honestly, I haven't I haven't seen her, but maybe twice in a whole year because of COVID. Yeah. It's all just been just so hard to to keep the close relationship that we had. Well, you know, they they change, you know, they, they have to go through that change too. It's sometimes yes. hard on the moms and the dads and the grandmas and all that. Well, it's definitely it's definitely hard to, to watch her get so mature and you know, I and I went through it with my two girls, so I knew it was gonna happen and all that. So it's not like when my girls I mean that was really hard when they go from they they think you're the best thing in the whole world between birth and about nine or ten. And then at some point it's different for all of them. But and, and it may not be as extreme, but mine just were like, oh, my gosh, mom, you're so annoying. You're so this, you're so, you know, it was just like, wait a second. I used to set the moon. You know, I don't what happened. <laughs> yeah. My uh, daughter kind of went through that. At a certain age, but. Not not too bad. She was always, you know, real good kid and whatever. But now Livia, I don't think Livia will go through that. I really don't because she is so in tune or however you want to say it with um, both of us and her mom and dad. I mean, you know, I just don't think she'll go through it. Yeah. You never know. Well, that's the thing is that uh, they go through what they go through. If it's if it's easy breezy, then that's awesome. If it's not, we all get through it. But right, yeah, but it's Gracie's, normal, you know. huh? It's a pretty normal thing. Yeah, no, it is. My daughter Amanda, she she lived with her dad uh, from like I don't know eight or nine up. And um, she would come over and she would rearrange the silverware in my drawers to kind of like make her place known or, you know what I'm saying? It was just such a yeah. funny little thing that I would, I would just be like, Amanda, can you, you know, leave, leave the drawers alone? To me? <laughs> just funny little things like that, that, that females, uh, I don't know, they. Well, I guess she wanted to make it, make her, make it feel like it was her own place. Exactly. Exactly. It's, it was just a funny little thing. You know, thing that she bad, went through. It's not that bad of a thing that she wanted to. Oh, no, 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 that's the funny part is it wasn't anything drastic. Amanda never, neither of the girls, Madison didn't give me, uh, I mean, Madison, the younger one, which is my, my uh, troublesome one right now at 27. But when they were younger, it was never like, I never had to worry about them running away or uh, anything drastic, anything like that. Like I've been watching this, this YouTube channel called Salt Sop. Soft white underbelly, and I wouldn't recommend watching it necessarily, but I, I watch it myself. And um, but it is about it, he interviews people on the streets and and just gets their story of he's he always starts almost the same way, you know. Did you have both your parents? And so many times they're like, no, they either divorced or I was in foster care or I was with my dad, but my mom died or you know, I mean, it was just always something. Mm -hmm. And it's just it's just interesting as far as human human nature and how things end up the way they do but um i uh i i feel blessed that my girls didn't you know get into that kind of stuff back then and but anyways i digress i'm just cutting up all these little uh ephemeras that came with a pack i don't even it's the alchemy pack i think but some of the images i think can blend their their uh their colors go well and they work well enough mm -hmm. to work with it. Yeah, that's what I did. I just went through all my digis that I have and uh, to see what what would work, even if it wasn't a steampunk thing, you know. 
Yeah, exactly. Well, that's the thing is it doesn't so many times. I mean, even I mean, just everything. It, it really if it is a matchy matchy perfect one, I think they're kind of boring. And I don't I'm not I never judge anybody's work or anything. But I think when you and I don't go as far as to do just junk either like that, that to me just isn't my style either. But I like to take and mix juxt juxtapositions. So like I like to take a hard thing and mix it with soft or a dark and a light. Those types of things are what fascinates me. So if I can mm -hmm. take a steampunk and then add flowers and floral and feminine because there is that in the in the Victorian side of it. I like that. And then, you know, just weird, I don't know. I, I guess I just am I, I am just a, unusual or weird. I don't know. Oh. I don't think it's that unusual. I do the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Linda says, my granddaughter has her own bedroom in my house. She decorated it and painted. Oh, wow. Belinda, that's awesome. That's That sounds beautiful. Well, you know, if Olivia was going to be here enough, we would have done that. We did it in the other house. She had her, her yeah. room. But there, it, yes, it was the guest room also. But um she still you know was able to get the picture she wanted and stuff but she well, and she still has that it's just on a smaller a smaller footprint you know because that really yeah. is small. but she's not here so she doesn't need a huge room yeah exactly i rebelled mm -hmm. and when the younger one moved out this last time i turned it into an office and i don't want a guest room yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because whenever I have a guest room, somebody wants to move in. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, we live 40 minutes away from the kids. Yeah. And sometimes they'll come down like for a holiday and spend the night, you know, because it's just easier to not have to drive home later at night and different yeah. things. So it works out. It's pretty much they're the ones who use it. Yes. Yeah. And she still uses it too whenever she doesn't want to sleep in the in her little room yeah Belinda says her granddaughter lives near her so that makes sense I love these black and white images I think they're so fun they are I like I how have, how much contrast there is with mm -hmm. them um, I have a very old I might have said this before I don't remember I have a very old um image program it's got like a hundred thousand images or something and most of them are images like the these black and white things that because they're old you know that everybody uses now and so yeah them, yeah you know, but i have the the all of that all of that and uh, so i can actually go in there and print them out myself and not have to buy them or whatever or find them somewhere else but because it's such an old program, the, the the part of it that's actually the program, not the images, that runs it and makes it easy for you to find stuff, it doesn't work. So I have to go into this humongous file. Like if I was going to look for her, I know she's in there. I've seen her before. If I was yeah. going to look for her, I have to go into this humongous file and just scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll oh until I found gosh. it. Where before, you know, I could just go right to it. So, so I don't use it very much. One of these days, I'll go in and just pull out some images and save them out that I like a lot, you know. Yeah, go in there, uh, save them out into a file where you could and right. make, rename them. Right. right. Mm -hmm. All right. That's the trick to everything is a filing system. I, I, I'm just. Mine is such a mess because I, I'm constantly coming up with a new idea or something. And so I, I'm just like, oh, okay. Another file. Name it something you'll remember, Melody. Hmm. Well, I was going through the other day and cleaning out my download folder. And um, he never downloads anything. So it was all my stuff, you know, mm -hmm. it was all my uh, graphic stuff that I've purchased or that I'm in clubs with or whatever that I save on my computer. And um, usually I leave it in the download folder until I put it where it's going to stay. And I separate, 
I usually separate by creator. So mm -hmm. if I get something from Graphics Fairy, I put them in a Graphics Fairy folder that has categories. So it right, takes a right. bit of time to do it. But once I have it, I know where it is, you know. And, right. And I could just go real quick and look for women or look for flowers or look for something and it'll be in the same where, you know, where it's easy to see them all together. So anyway, I was, was going to go do some of that and realize that I had so many things in that download folder. Oh. So I had to start eliminating things. And normally when I get stuff and I, I, it's because I'm going to use it right away. So I go into the download folder and I um, open up everything, expand everything. So I'll have the zip file and then I'll have the uh, the actual open file. So, but some, and some people it's real easy, like Graphics Fairy. Theirs is in the name. It's in the name. It says Graphics Fairy in the name. So it's real easy. And then right. there's some that um, I recognize who they're from because I realize, you know, because I've opened their stuff before and I know how they name stuff. Sometimes I put initials in there or whatever, and then a number. Mm -hmm. And so that's easy. But I had some just uh, miscellaneous people that I bought from that I had no idea who it was. So I finally, I said, okay, the heck with this. I know they're all um, uh, commercial use because I don't buy them if they're not, you know. Right. And so I know that. So I don't have to worry about that. But I thought, well, heck, I, I can't figure out. I don't know who these are. So I just put it in one miscellaneous creator folder, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's a pretty good system it just if you don't do it right away when you first download stuff then it piles up and then you got to go back and it seems like a lot of work but once they're all sorted out it's pretty simple to find stuff and it's well, the same, way, same way with my embroidery machine files i probably have yeah. 2000 of those you know well, that's the thing for me is that I actually create digital kits. So I have to, uh, I have the images that I work with. I have my work. I have my uh, silhouette business where I have like uh, 4,000 images that I have purchased for, uh, you know, to be able to use copyright. I purchased the copyrights for. Then I have all the things that I've made. So I just literally, like my husband had to buy me a laptop that would, you know, basically hold right ridiculous amount of stuff. So. It's and then I, I just have sometimes I have trouble finding things because I think I, I named it something that makes sense, you know. It's like, oh, sure, I'll find that. No, yep, I know what you mean. Yeah. The embroidery files are probably my hardest thing. I mean, you know, I've got the I've got the graphic stuff pretty much down pat. And uh, I thought I heard a noise and um, know where to find those because I've I've sorted them pretty well, you know. Mm -hmm. But the embroidery stuff, and I haven't done much embroidery in a while, so it's if I go in there and look now, it's going to really be hard. But I've gotten it from all different places. There's a lot of free embroidery patterns, and I never know where you even get them from. You know, they're just little. Uh, basically, what they do is different people who sell designs. They do a sample, so you could see how they how well they. Um, create the designs because they're not all created equal let me tell you oh, so you can try it it's sort of like a trial thing and they're free mm -hmm. and i've got a lot of those because they work just as well as regular patterns but yeah that's that one's kind of i've got them on several jump drives and they just it really needs i would just really need to sit down and do something with them so that they make more sense I, I need an assistant. Stuff, I've yeah. decided. <laughs> you need a what? I need an assistant. I've decided. Yeah. Like I just want to do the creative stuff, and then someone else yep. can do this complicated uh, administrational and business work. I don't like that part. Yep, that's how I feel about selling. I don't. I just want to make oh. stuff. I don't want to do the other things. Yeah, just no, I don't blame stuff. you there. It definitely would make life easier if, but I just. It, that won't work out for me, but I'll be able to figure out something else eventually. I don't know. Mostly, I think I'm to the point where I just want I want to uh, sell on a small scale and uh, focus like what we're doing, you know, making content for 
um, YouTube. I think that's fun and it can be um, lucrative at some point if I if I uh, put the effort in, but not lucrative, but you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. It'll somehow uh, something will get come back about it. But again, that's a long, I've been doing this now over three years and I just, I feel like I'm chasing my tail. I have to be careful. Otherwise I'm going to continue to just chase my tail and I want to have fun. I want to have fun and I want to create things and hopefully inspire people. That's all, that's all I wanted to do. Well, you can, it can certainly get out of control if you let it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I stepped back, looked at it through different eyes and, you know, getting the situation back to where it needs to be, which is uh, very helpful. This year has been a really good year. Like I found the glue book thing, which is really making me happy. Okay. And um, yeah, I mean, that's all you can ask for is just to, I'm, I, I kind of got in a rut. And I knew it, but it's like, well, I don't know how to do anything about it. So I'm not going to stress about it. I'm just going to keep being in my rut, I guess. But <laughs> Well, I know the next thing I have to really concentrate on is I'm right now it's bothering me. I don't know if it's because everything in my kitchen is sitting out on my table because he's working on the pantry or if it's just that it's just because it's cluttered down here and I got to it's time to do it's time to do a cleanup. So I'm going to have to take some time and do that here before long. Yeah. And then I'll be happy with that again. I mean, things are still pretty organized, but things are starting to get a little bit stacky, you know. And yeah, it, it doesn't take much. And then you kind of feel, you start to feel that anxiety of the clutter or right, right. being buried. Because uh, I have now stacks of things that I don't normally. But see, I've been really lucky. My niece would come and help me. Um, I'd pay her by the hour and uh, she would come and we would work really hard. Like I was working as hard as she was. And so three or four hours, we were getting a lot done and it was looking great. And then you give me a week and I've trashed it again. <laughs> and she will just come and shake her head. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I know, I know, I get it. I just, I don't know how to not, because I, I get, I get involved in what I'm doing and then it's like, oh, I'm exhausted. I have something else I better do. I, I walk away and see my area is downstairs. So if I'm not seeing it, I'm not stressed uh -huh. about it until I come down here. Yeah. <laughs> I totally understand. Yeah. Well, it's just, I think it's probably the same for a lot of people, especially that do the type of things that we do. I mean, if you're just crafting to craft, then, you know, you might you might not get as overwhelmed by it, but if you have like a thing on schedule, you know, you're scheduled out to do mm -hmm. different things. If I was just crafting down here to craft, I would, I would finish a little bit more of what I do rather than jumping around so much. But yeah. Well, I'm thinking it probably it would take me two maybe three hard days to get things where I would like for them to be. And the fact that I know now that I'm selling, I think what I want to do is anything that hasn't been emptied yet, that's going to be sold. I'm just going to take a couple of boxes. If it's stuff that I have to do something to before it's sold, you know, I'll put them right. in the box. And if it's stuff that's ready to go, I'll pack them in the sale boxes. And, and that way get all of that stuff out of the way. And then I'll be able to see how much um, I need to really, what what I need to do creatively for the stuff I'm getting rid of. And right. That way, every, things can be more streamlined and um, more straight. I have an awful lot of, right now, I have an awful lot of uh, scraps and things scraps and images and stuff like that because normally I make a lot of tags and um, clusters and stuff as I'm going along and keep that down you know keep that those piles down mm -hmm. but I haven't done that recently so I need to get back I need to have a big uh, a big session a couple of big sessions doing that kind of stuff to because I'd rather have I'd rather have made items instead of pieces to make the items sitting around. 
I'd rather have the made items waiting to be something done, right. you know. And, uh, and it's nice to be able to start a project and just go in there and pick stuff out that's already done that you can put in your project. Oh, definitely. I well, Gail does that a lot. She always oh, yeah. is free making her. I've never been able to do it because I don't do the same thing very often. So let, like I, I would do something shabby chic because of the group. I was uh, we were just always moving on to the next thing or doing the digitals. But like I, I go from um, shabby chic to mermaids and I just it just went that fast. So I would be doing something that had nothing to do with what I've been doing before. And so I have a I have a lot. Sorry, I did. I'm getting better about it. But I used to have a lot of bags that were just the, the old ephemera and bits and pieces of a, of a you know a project and then I, I got a little better about it and not doing that quite so much well i um i just don't i don't just go hog wild and do stuff but um if i know like right now i've got i don't know maybe six or eight um pouches started for um journals mm -hmm. different themes so i know if i'm sitting down and doing a big process of ephemera i kind of know in the back of my head what i have sitting back here that's going to need it right so i can kind of go towards that and then sometimes i'll do the uh fella sometimes i'll do the um what was i going to say Oh, it'll be kind of generic, and I only have to add some stuff to it to make it specific. Right. I got to let this dog out. I'll be right back. Okay. Well, I say that. So, so ladies, I am taking a piece of, uh, it looks like it was probably a table runner, and it had the circles sewn together to make the lace piece, the whole big lace piece, and I'm cutting those circles apart, folding them over in half, on my pages to be tabs, but because of the way my book is, I won't be able to have outward tabs. So I have this now where the lace pieces are like every few pages. And I think there is a total of one, two, three, four, five, six of them. And I think I could put one here and they would be distributed pretty evenly, but I'm just trimming off anything that doesn't uh, lend to the circle shape which those could be used on so many other things too. But, um, and this was uh, a piece that was damaged. And so I'm upcycling it and just putting glue on each side, folding the lace piece over, moving it around to where I know that the glue has grabbed it. And there we go. So there's seven of them now in there, and that's the way it looks. So now this this is getting to the to uh, the point where it's gonna I'm gonna have to stop because uh, this is a zipper close, and a zipper close is not gonna give me much room to grow. I might be at capacity right now. Or is something, is it grabbing on something else? Hmm. I think it's grabbing on this piece of lace, which I can fix. Maybe that page was a little bit longer than the other. So what I'll do here. Oh, thank you, Belinda. I am having so much fun with this per altered purse. This one I didn't glue down as far down as I should have. So if I go a little glue here, a little glue here. I didn't know until I tried to close it exactly what the dimensions were for space. There we go. Let's try that. There. See, it was just snagging on there. So now I wanted to, um, I'm going to have a bunch of these and make some things to go inside of the pockets. I have these pl uh, plain tags that I'm going to alter up and have so they'll they'll just kind of stick in there like that um i put some snaps on there just for bling um there will be uh probably i have oh yeah where because i when as soon as i move things i'm never going to find anything again that's just the way it works around here but i had some 
bling made up. And, um, oh wait, Let's see if it's in here. No. Anyways, all right, I'm back. I was just showing them. Uh, now we, I figured out the purse. I'm going to have to stop because it barely, barely, barely closes. So, but I took <laughs> and took little lace pieces and made kind of tabs, but in, inverted tabs. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So uh, they're just lace uh, folded over the edge. And um, did I? I literally did I put? I put my fabric flip on upside down. <laughs> I put one whole no, page in upside down one time and I didn't even realize it until <laughs> it had been sent off and it was being shown to be sold. Oh, really? And I was watching it on YouTube and I thought, oh my word, I got that upside down. <laughs> no, I didn't. I thought I was holding it upside down, but I, I've done it too. And I, I could have easily seen myself doing it. I think I'm going to add... Some of these types here, I'll put some tabs on, put some lace tabs on them. And then that will be the outside. And I think I'm just, I mean, I've got all these somewhere that I was starting to um, distress and get ready for these pockets here. And then there's some. Are you going to have room to put stuff in your pockets? Pro probably just flat things. Nothing yeah. like just, you know, just the, the flat card shape. I have them. I think they're two by. Uh, let's see, two by threes or something. I had already cut them. Oh, see, and I have so much more stuff over here. Oh my gosh. See, this is the actual ephemera area, but I'll put it in the other journal. But like I had made that. I didn't know if it was going in this one or not. These, I think, are the ones. Remember the last time we were not last time, maybe a time before, but I we were working and I couldn't find anything and I was buried oh, yeah. and everything. And so I, I put it all in envelopes uh -huh. and then hid the envelopes from myself because that's the way I roll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been there but I did remember that I had them, so I think this one could go on the top. And I was just these are just for journaling or or whatever they want to do with them. There, so there's those. And then on this side, there's that one. That one's too big. This one. Yeah, I'm going to have to just about be done with this if, if I'm going to. Yeah, you're not going to have any more room. Yeah, there's just, there's literally no more room. I'll have to uh, do some of these ideas that I had in the other one. And then maybe, maybe, you know, I'll put it aside for a while and I'll make a third one because I'll have a lot of the ephemera ready. <laughs> yep. But uh, I thought I found a pen, but it's upstairs in the Dollar Tree bag. I found a pen at the door. Actually not. Do you know what I found? As I found a mechanical pencil that I think looks good in here. That's oh, what I found. Yeah. Yeah, and I thought that's cute. the ticket, right? Yeah. A mechanical pencil. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, I can't believe it. I'm actually getting pretty close to being done with this. Now well, that I will all start come together at one time, as it always does. It'll be yeah. Easy. It's like a puzzle. It's always. like oh, you got that piece. Oh wait, there's seven more pieces that are ready to go. Yeah, yeah mine all mine all come together pretty close at once. I keep oh here it is. I keep losing this one little piece of paper that I wanted to use because it has a little train or something on it looks pretty cool okay now there we go okay so we have that in there a little notebook 
I have tags, corners, and only one altered paper clip, but they just ended up being so bulky that two of them went yeah. into it. But yeah. I had the oh, one. That one's really cute. That one, that one I, we, I made on camera, so I think that'll be a, yeah, a definitely like that one. a good one to have in there. This page is kind of plain, but and this is a pocket that doesn't have anything in it. I'll put these in there. These are kind of cool. Okay, so I'm going to leave this pocket empty because I have something in the other pocket, and they may want to put something in a pocket. Who knows? Mm -hmm. I suppose that happens out there, huh? They want to put this, something in a journal that they bought. <laughs> Probably. Well, I don't know. I don't, I don't buy I know. them. So I, don't know. <laughs> Isn't it funny? I don't know. I just feel bad because it's a purse that I'm filling it up so full that because it was supposed to be kind of like a traveler's notebook that could have been. Well, they can take out what they, they don't want, you know. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Take out things and put other things in, do whatever they want. Oh, my goodness. It's a nice feeling to get this close to being done. I got to find that tool, and then I can get the other cover going. Those in, and then I can... Well, that's about as crooked as a dog's hind leg. I don't know. Do you think you can ever have too many tags? Uh, well, you know, for me, it really just boils down to is their room. Like if I'm <laughs> enjoying making them or if I have them and it's a set or whatever, if there's room for them, I keep going. I like tags. I usually try to make sure there's space on the back to write, but I haven't on these. Well, you can still write on them, but they're not really meant for that. Oh, look what I did. I should have used that side. Do we do? I'm gonna change it. Nope, I'm not. It's not gonna come off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sad. Oh well. Can't fix it now. Oh, I feel so, I feel so free. I know. I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine that I would, would have, I've never been that way before. But for some reason, it just was really, I felt like if somebody had me around the neck. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's my age that's making me do that. But I, I don't know. Sure glad it's done. The important thing is, is you got through it and you're um, able to look back and, and, you know, you'll, you'll change your decisions on some things that you agree to do just for the fact of, you know, it's hard. I used to do daycare for my, for my uh, nieces and nephews years ago. And I remember when I was like, I just, I don't want to do this anymore. I would try mm -hmm. to tell my sister, you know, it's like, I, I love you. I love the kids, but I 
I just don't want to, to do full-time daycare for the kids anymore. Yeah. Yeah. And she just fought me on it. You know, it was really hard to get out of it because I had been well, doing yeah, it. Yeah, she had to find somebody different. Exactly. She had to, she had to have change and she had to, you know, I don't know. It just, but for me, I just kept feeling like, come on, you're not understanding that this is, you know, and I'm not saying your situations like this, it's completely different, but um, it just, those things where you do something for a while and it's awesome. And then it's like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Then you have to. I, I have to say, I'm pretty selfish when it comes with my time. Yeah. I, I want to do my thing, you know, and I can be, and I know that. So I try not to be. And usually it's not too big of a problem once I've decided to give up some of my time for something. But this time was just hard. I don't yeah. know. Well, I've gone through phases through the years where I spend my time doing for the family, you know, and that's just what I do. I completely commit to the family and then I uh, do something else. I, I get a hobby or I start a project. I don't know, you know, and then, but uh, it's, it's funny because I'll, I'll just do the, just do the weirdest things. I'll just come up like this whole YouTube and Facebook groups and all this stuff. My family is just like hit sideways. They just are like, don't know what to think about it. You know, <laughs> you're spending all your time doing what? You don't have time to come over and do this because of why? Well, I have a commitment and I agreed to do something or I have a schedule now and, and they're not used to me having that. Right, you know, right. Being available. It was really bad in the old days because it was like all the doctor's appointments. Oh, Auntie, Auntie Mimi will do it because uh, she doesn't work. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, I won't do it. And I have a neighbor who I adore, but she has two little boys and another one on the way. And I had to be really careful what I would agree to do because yeah. unfortunately it would get to where I don't want to talk to her because I'm afraid she's going to ask me for something if I let that boundary. And it's not, and it's just me being smart. It's not that I don't like her or I don't like the right. kids. It's just, you've got to set your boundaries so that you don't get resentful. It's on, I realized years ago, it's on myself to keep myself from getting in a position to be resentful, not, not let someone get me in it and then blame them for it, you know, Right. I you learned a long to. time ago. It's okay to say no. Exactly. Exactly. And and if you don't, then you you got to sit there and just go. Okay, I agreed to do it. Mm -hmm. You can't get resentful and and be whiny about it. That's the part that you know is it's kind of tough because my husband's from the south, and in the south, there it's kind of a passive aggressive thing. You you never mm -hmm. rude. You never this or that. But as soon as that person's gone, you're saying all kinds of things, and I, right. I'm the opposite of that. <laughs> I'm like I tell you first off. Yeah, you know, and it's because I want to save us problems. I am not rude and I'm not mean. I will, I want to make this work. So to do that, I have to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. So it's it's been a that's why we don't live in the South. I I couldn't do it. I just my daughter uh, and she's a lot like me was in Kentucky for uh, a year and she's like, Mom, I can't even believe it. She's like, the cashiers are so rude and this and that. And and just not taking their job seriously, and and that, and I want to say something like, "Don't, Amanda, you're in Kentucky. Don't say anything. You, you're just you got to understand you're in a different, you know. Every every land or part of the land has their own, you know. It's just just don't. <laughs> yeah. Just understand that they they do things their way. I always tell people who are who are getting ready to retire and they're excited about retiring. I say, first thing I want to tell you is. Tell no one you're retired. Yeah. <laughs> Tell no one because they'll do exactly what you were saying. Oh, well, she uh -huh. doesn't work. She could do this. And you know, uh -huh. there's a lot of things you want to do to help people. That's not what I'm talking about. Right. Because there are a lot of people who will just take advantage of you. And yep. um, well, it makes their life easier if you're available for things. Right. Yeah. I had my I had one sister. I mean, seriously, that girl, everything. Oh, my, my daughter's friend uh, needs a dress sewn for to return uh -huh. it because she tore it during a cosplay. But, and I'm like, why am I sewing this dress? Mm -hmm. Why am I doing this? You know, but yeah. it was because everything she asked me to do, I would do because of, uh, you know, just emotional commitment, especially after my mom passed. You know, of course, you just you 
you know, she she's 10 years younger than me. And so anyways, but I finally, I'm like, I, I just, I cannot, because you don't call me to ask me how I'm doing. You don't right. come over and help me fix anything or, or right. organize something. You don't, nobody, nobody's been available for four years. Not my children, mm -hmm. not anybody except the one niece to come help me with this nightmare of a room I have, because my husband had a shopping addiction. He would go to the bins and he would find things. They were all wonderful things. They were fabulous. But I had to sort them, process them, and then either use them or sell them. And I wasn't getting it done because I was doing videos and uh, Facebook um, obligations with my groups. And I just, I'm, I'm like, I, I, I gotta, I'm going to burn the house down. That's where I was at. I'm going to yeah. burn the house down <laughs> if someone doesn't help me. And finally, my niece, you know, I said, I'll pay you. I'm not asking you to do me a favor. But that's the part that bothers me is that when people ask me to do things and it's like, do you know how much I'm buried over here and wish someone would help me? But you guys think I got time to help you? Mm -hmm. How about we don't help e either one of us and then we just continue to be nice to each other because right. that's all I can offer well, you. I have to I have to say that um, I don't really have a person that I run around with, per se. Um, I never have been that way because to me, if I'm going to go do something, I'm just ready to go do it. I don't want to have to make plans and, you know, yeah. meet here and let's do that and do the other. So now there's sometimes when that happens, but very seldom like to go craft shopping or something. I have nobody like that because I don't have anybody who does the stuff that I do. Right. And um, now my granddaughter, of course, she'll go with me because she's always ready to go and look at stuff, you know, but um, and my daughter would if she had time. But I just don't have people like that. And um, sometimes it could come off to where you're not uh, a friendly person. Well, I don't think there's anybody that thinks I'm not a friendly person. But, you know, it can come <laughs> off that way if you're, if you're not careful. But um, I don't know where I was going with this. Oh, <laughs> I don't ask anybody. Like, if, if, if I was... Right now, I need to clean the grout in my kitchen. Because the people who lived here before got it filthy. That's right, Belinda. It, people here before have got it filthy. And the tile looks great, but the grout's dirty. It bothers me. So right. i got to do that. And it's very difficult for me to do that kind of stuff where you have to bend and push and stuff. It hurts my back really bad. Right. So, you know, whenever I have something like that that I have to do, do I call my daughter? No, I don't. Do I ask my granddaughter? No. I'll get one of the girls from church and pay her to come help me. You know, yeah, I'll get see, one of the me. teenagers from church. Because they can use the money, they could use mm -hmm. the experience, you know, and they're sweet and, and it's fine and they're strong and they can do all that kind of stuff. So that's what I do. I don't I don't call a friend and ask him to come help me. I've just never been that way. Because in the past I could always do it all myself, you know, but yeah, now I, I, I yeah. ask for somebody. Yeah, I uh, I used to be the one that was because I didn't work full time through through the years. I, I have worked off and on and stuff, but I mostly raised the kids and took care of our dogs. My husband and I we had the four Scotties, and it was a lifestyle. You, you don't have four dogs and have it not be a lifestyle, you know. Yeah, it was. You can't. I, we knew we didn't leave them in kennels more than four hours. We just had a whole routine of the way things life was, and uh, so there was that. But they just always, you know, well, Melody, 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 Melody. And it's like, no, that's not really what I want to be doing, but okay. And then now I got to doing this, you know, over three years ago. And a lot of people, you know, it's like they don't even want to hear about it because I think they, they're just, you know, put off by the fact that I'm not available for the things that I used to be. So they're just kind of like, eh. my dad, my dad asked me, Melody, when are you going to retire? I'm like, Dad, I just started this, and I really enjoy it, and I, I'm doing good, and blah, blah, blah. You know, I mean, it's just people, I don't know, when, you're, when you do one thing for a long time, it's hard for them for it to change, I guess. Well, and two, you know, if it's something they don't understand, the draw, yes. if they don't understand the draw, they don't know why you're messing with that kind of stuff. What's the big deal, you know? And oh, it really, it's really not a big deal. Be truthful. It's not an earth shaking or shattering thing that we're doing. But right. That's the thing is I'm not out there saving lives. I get it. Right. I get it. I'm and, not. But it's fun and we enjoy yeah. it. And uh, that's why we do it. You know? 
Well, and I got I got really really hooked in the Facebook group because it became it became a community, and I had people that would tell me, and they still they still tell me that you know not I didn't save their life per se, but because they were in a really really dark place, and they found my group or you know found all of us and stuff, it just it changed, and and I have they're still with me, so I I felt very justified in what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I felt like it means something. I'm not, you know, just doing nothing without any reward at all. So I don't know. I, I've always, I know that it was important for me to create um, balance. And I did do that. It took me uh, over a year, but I did create balance. I got some things off my plate so that I'm not as busy and I have more time. Like right now, I, I, I used to go to my parents every Thursday and we'd have lunch or breakfast together and they loved that. And then I stopped doing it. And then that put some, you know, tension in the relationship because I was so busy. And then now I finally got it to where I could do that again. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, I'm happy about that. And well, but it's been hard work. You don't, you don't just go, okay, guys, guess what? I'm going to, I'm going to reduce my load and I'll see you later. You have to mm -hmm. process it out and get it to where things won't fall, you know, fall apart basically is what I don't know. Anyways. You get me going on life stuff, sweetie, and, and I won't stop. I'll tell you everything. I'm so bad. I'm a jabber bug. But <laughs> well, you know, it's nice to have someone you can tell that stuff to. Yeah, it is because the thing is, is I really think that everybody has like if you tell a story about what's going on with you, somebody's going to identify with it. Like Belinda did when you were talking about your granddaughter and how she mm -hmm. has a room at her house and stuff. And if we talk about this, and, and that's what creates people to feel like. Um, camaraderie and you know community and that's the part that i've always liked about this this thing that we do you know right. the crafting is awesome but i would do the crafting whether i'm on camera or not i would do the crafting whether i'm in a group or not that that's exactly. always been a part of my life even before the social media yep i you know i always say that i would be doing the same stuff whether it piled up or whatever you know it's gonna pile yeah, up it's I'd still be doing it because I like to do it. All righty. Well, you know what? I think I think I'm gonna call this done. I yeah. think. Yes. Yeah. So next week when I show up, I'm gonna be working. I keep looking at this upside down, and it's really, really getting my head messed up. I'm thinking, did I really do that? No, you didn't. You're looking at it upside down, you bonehead. <laughs> Oh, I'm a piece of work. I am. But I got one fabric flip in here. Or no, did I put two? I think I put two. And then I have a bunch of lace. And I have some, I don't know. I think it's a balance of everything. And I have all the little pockets, which I didn't put a thousand of them in there. But I think there's enough. I think I can put that there. Okay, so I'm going to call this one. I got to take my white pen out. And I'll find that mechanical pen, pencil, put it in there. But I'm going to call this done, except for I'm going to put, um, I made a couple more dangles, and I'm going to dangle uh, some things off of one of these uh, hooks here. Cool. So it'll have, you know, the okay. gears and beads. Yay. And then there we go. Wow. Yay. Wow, wow, wow. So when we when we come back next week, I'll do a flip through on this, or maybe I'll do a separate one. Maybe I'll do a separate video so that it's just a shorter one and people can look at it without watching the whole video. But then we will start on this one, which I don't know if was I gonna, I guess I was gonna, do you think this is too much, Deb? No. If I was to do this? No, I think, oh, it, I think it's good. Yeah. If I was to dangle like that, because that's not that big, right? Uh -uh, I like it. Okay, okay, there we go. That will get a flip through this week. And then um, this particular cover, I'm definitely using this one, but I wanted to add this book plate type thing. Oh, that'll here. look pretty. Yeah, I have them in a couple colors, but I, I haven't decided if I'm gonna do the copper or this one, but then I'm gonna put um, a word back there or something that, you know, pertains to what we're doing. And then I'm also going to um, let's put it there. I'm gonna sew these signatures, get these signatures ready to get sewn in, and then I'll do more page layout. 
And then, oh my gosh, I just got some ephemera to do. And now I feel like the ball's been rolling. Let me tell you. Yeah, I'm I'm probably closer to being finished than you would think. Yeah, it, that's yeah. how fast it happens, isn't it? It's just like, yeah. boom. Well, especially when you're working on two at the same time like this, you know, um, usually by now I have the um, signatures in, but I was thinking I had one or two more pages I might add to it that I liked, so. Yeah. But yeah, it won't be long before mine's done, too. Well, then we'll I'm thinking on what I'm going to work on next. You're going to work on what? I don't know. Oh, you don't know? Probably. I know what I'm doing. I'm going into boho because yeah. I have, I got to figure out all this stuff. Well, um, I, I, have, I, think I have the stuff together to do my circus journal. So well, I, I don't mind you working on circus while I work on boho if you want to. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. I'm just, yeah. I'm, I'm just not sure if it's that one or um, I have to look over here and see what else I because, you know, I wait until I have enough stuff before I start one. Right. And, um, I have to look and see what I've got over there added up already. Piled up, waiting to be done. But uh, probably journal I'll be working on. Now, that'll be awesome. I think um, I think I got plenty of ephemera here that I can put straight into that other book. I know I've got this one done, which I'm excited about. But that that done so and then i had these i didn't know if i was going to try to incorporate any of the jelly plates i had done those metallic ones those are pretty oh i like that one that one yeah well the one on the left oh the this one this is a too. printout oh, i okay. um I yeah that. this was an envelope and i'm actually sending this to um uh mimi mimi loves to craft this envelope and this envelope's right here and it's going to australia this is under my friend jennifer but i like to make the envelopes so that i can send them out to people and then by print, i scan them in and print them out first so that i have a copy nice. this one's been my favorite I think of that, that set. That's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I wonder if I, maybe I should make some tags out of it. Anyway, so I have them in here. I could work with them too. Uh, so there's going to be lots of stuff going on next week. Maybe I'll be done with the steampunk by the time we even, maybe that week that I leave uh, could be the trans, the um, trans over, ugh. Uh, you know, the week we transfer from one thing to another. <laughs> Yep. Excuse me. Oh, boy. See, now this pen's giving me trouble. Uh-oh. Yep. You know, I have this. I didn't know, though. Look at this. This is vintage. And this is from, the pages say 1848. Wow. And it's leather. And I was so tempted to put it in that purse, but I think I'm going to scan it in instead and keep it. There's death, mm -hmm. uh, many, September 9th, 1900. You should put it in your shop. Yeah. Now, what have I done with my old pen? That's the new question. Ha, ha, ha. Don't know. 1924. Ugh. Just one of those things. So I didn't know what I was going to do with that, but yeah, I could definitely probably end up doing another uh, steampunk after this because I'll still have plenty of leftovers, but it'll be nice to take a little break and then maybe come back to it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'll have, excuse me, maybe I'll have some extra time this week to work on mine and get it almost done. Yeah. Plus, if you would do, if you want to do that video on the, are you going to do, did you want to do that glue, uh, swap and glue challenge thing? Uh, <laughs> uh. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say yes at this point. <laughs> 
<laughs> it didn't turn out like you wanted. Well, no, I'm going to finish that. Yeah, I, oh. I, 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 I misunderstood what you were saying. I'm going to finish that and um, do that. Um, I still have some more stuff to do to that. No, okay. I like the way it came out so far. But now oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, here it is. Yeah, here it is. It's kind of big. But Ooh, I love it. Yeah, I kind of like the way it's turning out. She just looked like she needed to sit on that horse. <laughs> I think that's fabulous. This is going to be so fun. If if you if you when you do the the um the video, just put the hashtag um it all in lowercase. You put hashtag the symbol hashtag and then swap and glue and then any others you want. I don't know if you create other uh, hashtags, but um, then it will when someone clicks the that hashtag, they'll see your video along with all, everyone else's. It's going to be really Alrighty. cool. Yeah. yeah yours, is, yours is beautiful all righty well i think i'm gonna head out of here i got my desk all cleaned up i'm ready for the weekend it's not a song no <laughs> i don't know <laughs> oh i'm making you something you're making me something yeah i i have this these are the nice ones these are i don't know what the mole mole is it mole Mo, oh, mole mole skin mole skin I have these and I had a red one and I already did some jelly plating on it. I'm going to decorate oh. it some more. And then what I want to challenge you, if you agree, is I want to challenge you to have this be your glue book. And then we could swap back and forth over the summer and uh, just have fun. But you don't have to. You could make it art drawing, anything. But I just wanted you to, to have it for your own self, for your own fun, your oh, own art thanks. therapy. Okay. Yeah. Look forward to it. Okay, cool. So I'll do that. I'll get this finished. I had just started to play with it a little bit. I was doing the distress inks on it and it because it was such a it was such a fun oxide uh, look on there. But I'll finish it up and send it to you along with maybe some more because I save all the red that I find in the magazines. <laughs> I know. I won't I won't do only red this time though. I'll I'll mix it up. Because that's gotta be a lot, huh? <laughs> well, well, it came out just about right for that size page. I pretty yeah. much used the, most of the red. Yeah. But, uh, no problem. So, okay. I guess okay. as far as I know, I'll see you next Friday. Definitely. Okay. Bye-bye, right. ladies. Thank, every, thank you, everyone, for hanging out with us. Goodbye. Bye.